It's hard to believe that it's been 20 years since the world was introduced to Britney Spears and her iconic single, Baby One More Time. This song not only catapulted Britney to fame, but it also changed the face of pop music forever. With its catchy beat, memorable lyrics, and Britney's undeniable star power, it's no wonder that this song has stood the test of time in honor of its 20th anniversary. We're celebrating this groundbreaking track and all that Britney has brought to the music industry. So let's raise a blast to the original princess of pop and her enduring influence on the world of music. But even with its somewhat confusing lyrics, Baby One More Time remains a fan favorite and a pop culture phenomenon. It's one of those songs that you can't help but sing along to, no matter how many times you've heard it. And let's not forget the impact it had on fashion who doesn't remember the school uniform that Britney wore in the music video. It's no wonder that this song has had such a lasting legacy and remains a staple in the playlist of any true Britney fan. The song's writer, Max Martin, was a genius at crafting infectious pop hits, and Baby One More Time is just one example of his talent. It's no surprise that he also wrote the equally memorable I Wanted That Way by the Backstreet Boys. Both of these songs have stood the test of time and continue to be enjoyed by fans of all ages. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of catchy pop music and the enduring talent of Britney Spears. Baby One More Time has truly stood the test of time, remaining a fan favorite and a go-to party anthem for the past 20 years. It's a song that has been dissected, analyzed, and performed countless times, with fans trying to unravel the true meaning behind its addictive lyrics. But no matter how much we try to overanalyze it, one thing remains clear. Baby One More Time is a classic pop hit that will never go out of style. So let's continue to celebrate the song's big birthday and keep the party going with this timeless pop. Long live Britney and her enduring influence on the world of music. In a rare interview with The Guardian in 2018, Britney finally shed some light on the true meaning behind Baby One More Time. Despite what many people might have thought, the song is actually about the stress and anxiety of being a teenager. Brittany revealed that the song was about her own experiences as a young person trying to navigate the challenges of adolescence. While some people might have interpreted certain lines in the song as being related to sex or domestic violence, Brittany clarified that these interpretations were not the intention behind the lyrics. In fact, she stated that the only line in the song that could be considered feels related was my loneliness is killing me which she said was meant to capture the feeling of being lonely or bored in high school. It's interesting to consider the true meaning behind Baby One More Time in the context of Britney's own experiences as a teenager. It just goes to show that even the most enduring pop hits can have personal and relatable themes at their core. It's fascinating to learn about the behind-the-scenes story of Baby One More Time and the creative process that went into making the song. According to Nana Hedin, who provided backup vocals for the track, the song was clearly meant for a teenage audience, but the production had a grown-up attitude that she really appreciated. This just goes to show how versatile and enduring pop music can be it can appeal to people of all ages and backgrounds. Another interesting aspect of the song's creation is the confusion around its lyrics. According to John Seabrook's book, The Song Machine, the phrase hit me baby was actually meant to be a fun way of saying call me, and was not intended to reference domestic violence or S and M. It's a testament to the power of language and how easily misunderstandings can arise when working with different cultures and languages. It's also interesting to note that the song was almost called Hit Me Baby One More Time, which gives further context to the intended meaning behind the lyrics. Overall, Baby One More Time is a truly iconic and enduring pop hit and it's always interesting to learn more about the story behind its creation. As the story of Baby One More Time shows, the creation of a pop hit is often a collaborative and complex process. From the songwriting to the recording to the marketing, many people and factors come into play to create a song that resonates with listeners. In the case of Baby One More Time, the label, Jive, made a slight adjustment to the title to make it more suitable for the American market, while still keeping the memorable phrase, hit me throughout the song. 20 years later, Baby One More Time remains a beloved and endearing hit, a testament to the talent of Britney Spears and the timeless appeal of pop music. It's a song that will continue to be celebrated and enjoyed by fans for years to come.
Britney Spears' first hit was the song Baby One. More Time, which was released on November 3, 1998. The song was a huge success and Britney's image. As a schoolgirl helped to make her a sensation, MTV played the video for the song, but it was the internet that really propelled Britney to stardom, as many people searched for her online. Over the next decade, Britney became one of the most famous celebrities in the world. With many of her activities being documented by paparazzi, the song was written and produced by Max Martin, a Swedish musician known for his work on catchy pop songs. Martin also worked on hits for the Backsteep Boys and NSYNC. The song is about a girl trying to win back her ex-boyfriend and asking him to give her another chance. The phrase hit me baby one more time has been interpreted by some people too. Mean domestic violence, but it is actually meant to be a request for the ex-boyfriend to call the girl again. Britney's first world tour featured this song as a centerpiece, with confetti being blasted over fans in the front rows. The tour was no table for Britney's dancing, which received positive reviews. The single for Baby One More Time went platinum in the US with sales of over a million copies. The album also had impressive sales, going 14x platinum in the US and selling over 25 million copies worldwide. It is the highest selling album ever recorded by a teenage girl. The video for Baby One More Time was filmed at Venice High School in Los Angeles, which was also used as the setting for the movie Grease. The song was originally offered to the group TLC, but they turned it down because they felt it didn't represent their image. Britney Spears later accepted the song and made it a hit. In the UK, Baby One More Time was the biggest selling. Single of 1999, Britney performed the song at the 1999 MTV Video Music Awards and at a Nickelodeon special, both times wearing revealing outfits that sparked rumors about whether she had undergone breast augmentation surgery. Some people claimed to hear a backwards message in the song that said sleep with me I'm not too young when played during the part that says with you I lose my mind give me a sign. Britney performed Baby One More Time at the 2000 Grammy Awards along with the ballad from the bottom of my broken heart. She was nominated for two awards but lost both to Christina Aguilera and Sarah McLachlan. The release of Britney Spears' album was timed to coincide with the success of Baby One More Time, which reached the top of the charts shortly after the album's release. When Britney was booed by crowds for ignoring autograph hunters at a premiere, a newspaper headline referred to her hit song in a humorous way. The director of the video for Baby One More Time credited Britney with coming up with the idea for the schoolgirl look that became a key part of her image. The wardrobe for the video was inexpensive, with everything coming from Kmart and costing less than $17 per item. This added to the charm of the video. The song Baby One More Time has been covered by several artists, including Travis and Bowling for Soup. Britney Spears has denied that the lyrics of the song refer to domestic violence, stating that they just mean give me a sign. There were rumors that Britney got breast implants around the time of the release of the song and a common parody of the song was Make My Boobies One More Size. In 2005, a TV show called Hit Me Baby One More Time aired on NBC and featured pop stars of the past competing against each other. The show included performances of the contestants' biggest hits as well as modern songs of their choice. When MTV's video countdown program Total Request Live ended in 2008, Baby One More Time was named as the most requested video of all time. In a 2009 episode of the TV show Being Erica, a character travels back 
in time to her college days and impresses her literature professor by reciting a poem called Hit Me Baby One More Time. Baby One More Time is one of several songs that have an ellipsis in the title, along with Metallica's and Justice for All and Irena. Kara's Flash Dance. What a feeling, Britney also used an ellipsis in the title of her hit Oops. I did it again. In a 2022 Super Bowl commercial, the song, Baby One More. Time is used to soundtrack the return of the E-Trade Baby.